welcome back to my channel my name is Alicia if you're new here I am mummy to baby Kristen he is 11 weeks and a few days old now um, today I'm going to be starting a mini series that I'm doing into cloth nappies it's just sort of a beginner's guide in starting out with cloth nappies and what you need to know um, I asked in a cloth nappy Facebook group that I'm in about what questions they really wanted to know as a beginner and what confuses them um, and I had loads of replies and so I'm basing all of my mini series on those questions and what people want to know so um, today I'm gonna start with um, talking about different materials for nappies and um, talking about the difference between boosters uh, liners and inserts um, and also going to talk about the different type of nappies so just a real starting point once you know these main things you pretty much know most of what you need to know about nappies so I'm going to do a five-part series episode one is going to be today's which is going to be the basics of cloth nappying um, so it's all about the materials everything that um, every type of cloth nappy that there is so that's going to be the basics the second episode I'm going to do washing wash routines um, drying the nappies and also um, the preventing staining um, then the third episode is going to be all about terminology and the acronyms and abbreviations that are used when you're buying on a nappy website or when you're on the internet, um, on Facebook or social media. There is a lot of groups that use abbreviations, especially like in pre-loved selling groups, they're always using abbreviations. So I'm going to touch upon that. Um, the third episode fourth episode sorry is going to be all about where you can buy these nappies especially in the UK um, I'm UK based so I'm going to be talking about different brands that you can find from UK sellers what websites are good to buy the nappies from and also pricing so that you can assess what you think would be good for your budget um, and then the fifth episode I'm just going to talk do a quick episode on the environmental impact of cloth nappying and how it is a lot better for the environment and um, so yeah so I'm going to start today's video and I'm going to show you the different materials and the difference between boosters inserts and liners because that was one thing that a lot of people said they were really confused about so I'm going to start by explaining about inserts I decided to talk over this bit because I don't think I explained it clear enough when I was filming it the insert is the main absorbent part of the nappy so in a pocket nappy you would come with a couple inserts usually um, here I'm demonstrating uh, an all-in-two which includes the inserts which is peanut pads uh, and then you've got the wrap here which you would put the insert into the wrap and that is the main absorbent part of that nappy um, so it's very similar uh, between inserts and boosters. It's just boosters are used to add absorbency to a nappy, whereas your insert is your main absorbent part. So here there's a close pop-in insert, which that poppers into the nappy, um, and that is your main absorbent part. Um, pop-in nappies also come with a booster that you can add on top. So your insert is your main absorbent part of the nappy. If you find that the insert isn't enough absorbency for your baby and you need something extra because they're leaking through the nappies, then you would add a booster. Now, I'm going to show you the different types of materials. I'm just going to explain what each um, material is like for absorbency and price-wise and things like that. So, your most absorbent would be hemp. I don't have any hemp here, um, but hemp is your most absorbent material um it is super super thirsty so it will soak up a lot of wee um it is slow to absorb and it is slow to dry so that's something to um think about when you're thinking of using hemp uh, another really absorbent material is bamboo now i do have some bamboo inserts here this not inserts, boosters. If these are bamboo, um, bamboo is really absorbent. 
but it is slow absorbency so if you have a baby that floods the nappy which is where you would put a nappy on and straight away they would do a big wee that they've been holding in if you have a baby like that bamboo is could cause leaks because it is slow to absorb um it is slow to dry bamboo um so that's another thing to consider then you've got something like microfiber this is a microfiber in, um, booster this basically microfiber isn't safe against baby's skin most other materials are safe against baby's skin microfiber isn't simply because it is really fast at absorbing so like i said before if you've got a baby that floods their nappies um that holds their wee and suddenly wees this would be really great above like a bamboo booster because that would mean that this would absorb the wee so fast so it wouldn't leak out but it would also mean that the bamboo would catch the wee after the microfiber had absorbed it because microfiber isn't um isn't as absorbent it's it will absorb fast but it won't absorb as much as bamboo would so that's something to bear in mind uh, and like i said it can dry baby skin out so this isn't safe to have against baby's skin um, so you would put this in like a pocket or you would put it under a liner which i'm going to come to um, there's also cotton um, this is a thirsty's cotton booster um, this is four layers of cotton um, cotton is sort of um, almost as absorbent as bamboo bamboo probably a little bit more then you have liners so i'll just talk about liners liners are completely different to boosters and inserts liners go on top of your booster or your insert they would go on top of the nappy um, there is different types of liners there is disposable ones and there is fleece ones disposable ones are for catching poo and um, they do keep some wet away from baby's skin um, but they are mostly for catching poo so especially when your baby's weaned and they have more solidy poos that need to go down the loo and not in the bin um, you would use a disposable liner um, you can still use fleece liners of course um, i know that lots of people uh, we haven't got weaning poos yet but i know lots of people say about putting you know your liner in the um toilet and then flushing and getting the poo off yeah um which i think you'd rather do that with a liner than with your nappy so um so liners are great for catching poo and they're also great from keeping the wet away from baby's skin so like i said with microfiber you shouldn't have that against baby's skin because it's very fast to absorb so you could put a fleece liner on top and that would keep it away from baby's skin. Breastfeeding or formula feeding poo before weaning can just go straight in the wash because it is water soluble. So it doesn't matter about using a liner to get rid of any breastfeeding or formula feeding poo when it's solely milk poo, it doesn't need a liner. Um, so if you don't want to use them, you don't have to but um, like I said, they are good for keeping wet away. So that is one thing to consider. Um, next, I'm going to talk about the different types of nappies. So we're gonna start with all-in-ones. Um, these are, as the name suggests, all-in-one. So they are the easiest nappy to use. They are all in there. You don't need, you don't need to add anything to them. You can add a booster to them or a liner to them, but you don't have to. So we'll start with Toxbot's Easy Fit. So this is a Velcro fastening. Um, you can they call it hook and loop. Um, so I will show on like nappy websites or things like that. Um, so I'll just show you. So this is the outer layer. The outer layer is PUL. It's a waterproof fabric. This is what contains everything. Uh, so it contains the wee in it to stop leaking onto clothing and onto the baby. So that is your PUL. Um, then inside here is your absorbency. So this is the absorbent part of the nappy. This is what is going to absorb all the wee, soak all the wee up. So in most all-in-ones, you have a pocket. So you've got this pocket at the back here. And that is where the rest of the absorbent part is. So if you can see, 
this is all absorbency and this just means that there's an extra layer of absorbency in the nappy so you can stuff that in the pocket or if you're a bit lazy and you don't fancy doing that every time you can just put it on top then you can have a liner as i've said before you can have a liner on the top of that to protect the uh, wet from baby's skin or also after weaning to catch any poo um, you can also add a booster so if baby was wetting through these if they were getting soaked and you thought right it's time that i add a booster because the um they're leaking and the material is always soaked then you would add a booster so you can add the booster into the pocket or as i've said you can add it on top if you want like so and then you can put your liner on like that um so that is an all-in-one now there is other types of all-in-one so this is a bambino neo this is again velcro fastening in here is already a fleece pocket so this outer bit is fleecy um, and then inside here inside your pocket is your absorbent layer now this is microfiber so obviously if you laid this on top you would want to add another liner another fleece liner or something like that um, because you wouldn't want the microfiber against baby's skin it will dry it out um, these are great all-in-ones simply because they have a little handle to stuff it back into the pocket so it makes it a lot easier because you just fit your hand in and then you just slide it right to the end and then pull so that's it stuffed in and then there you go it's ready to use and if you wanted to you can add a booster like i've said before microfiber isn't the most absorbent of materials it absorbs fast it's quick drying but it won't absorb as much as say a bamboo would so if you find that baby is leaking through these pretty quickly you would want to add another booster um, you can add that into the pocket like so and then that would absorb more so there we go so that is all in ones i will just show you as well most uh, nappies also have laundry tabs so that when you put them in the wash you can fold over this tab like so and that will protect the velcro from catching on any other nappies and any other pe well and um ripping your pe well so that is your all-in-ones so now i'm going to show you all in two so this is your peanut pad and your peanut wrap so this is like your all-in-one you need the pul layer on the outside so this is that pul that um polyester um material that is going to be waterproof and is going to contain the wee so that you don't get leaks onto clothing or onto baby so now you need your absorbent part much like the all-in-one you have the pul and then you need the absorbency so this is your absorbent part to your all-in-twos so you would pop this in like so and then that's ready to use now if you did want to add a liner on the top you would add a liner like so again protect against wet from the skin and also after weaning to catch poo so you can also add a booster so if baby is leaking through because their the insert is saturated then you would add a booster you can add this under the inserts like this so that's underneath the inserts and you can also add it on top of the insert if you wanted to like so and then you could also add a liner like that so I just wanted to say that the all-in-two, um, you don't have to replace the whole nappy every time. You just can replace the inserts. So you can keep the wrap 
and use it a few times over again um you can just take the inserts out i would give the wrap a quick wipe down as long as there's no poo on it if there's poo replace the wrap if there isn't just give it a quick wipe down and you can put new inserts in and put it back on baby's bum There we go, and again, this is a Velcro fastening, like so, and there's also, on this wrap, there is laundry tabs, like that. Then you've got another type of all-in-two. This is a close pop-in. This has poppers on either side, like this. So there's two poppers there, and then at the back, there's these little sort of clips clip in like that and then there you go that's your insert and that is your p well layer now you can also use a liner on top of your insert we always put a liner on top of the insert and these close pop-ins also come with a booster of their own so this is your booster so if you find that baby is leaking through and the um, insert is saturated then you can clip on the booster they have a separate clip and you can clip it on like that so you can have it on the top or you could have it underneath it doesn't really matter um, and then like again you can add your liner and then that's ready to go on baby's bum uh, there we go that's also velcro fastening but they do do popper fastenings um, in close pop-ins as well uh, so that is your all-in-two basically I've got a big knot in my hair um, that's your all-in-two type nappy um, so we'll move on now to pocket nappies so pocket nappies uh these are pocket nappies i will show you this is a simplex pocket nappy so you've got poppers on this one this is let me just pull this apart so this is your p well layer again the containment layer it's waterproof so it keeps all the wee in the nappy stops it leaking out then this side is your pocket so in here this is a fleecy material. So this one, I don't add a fleece liner to because it's already fleecy. It's already going to keep the wet away from baby's skin. Obviously, if you were getting weaning poos and you wanted to add a liner, you could add a disposable liner that would catch any poo and then you can chuck away the poo down the toilet. So that is your pocket at the back. And then I'm going to put in my my absorbency. So this is this is like a booster. Um, this is the absorbent part to the nappy. You would just stuff that in the pocket, like so. So that is your pocket nappy and then that's ready to go on the bum you don't need to put an extra liner on obviously if you want to use a disposable one you can but you don't need to so then if you wanted extra in your pocket you can stuff it with whatever you want so say if babies are flutter so as soon as you put a nappy on they've been holding their wee and then as soon as one goes on they flood the nappy you could add a microfiber insert a microfiber booster and you could put that on top of the um, other boosters so that it will absorb quickly and then the we will be the extra we will be absorbed into the bamboo eventually so that's your sort of basic pocket there is other type of pockets i have some peachy baby pockets here they are um, these ones have an insert and a booster so you've got, this is your insert, your snap-in insert. And then inside the pocket, I've got a booster. Um, so that's sort of a different type of pocket. There is some pockets like that where they have the snap-in on the top, but you can also put in the pocket as well. Um, so it's sort of like an all-in-two, but it's also a pocket. So that's your basic pocket nappies. But now I'm showing you pocket, I'm going to move on to um, fitted and shaped nappy. 
So this is a shaped nappy slash fitted nappy. Um, this is a bamboozle. This is by Top Spots as well. Again, it's got the Velcro fastening at the front. The difference with this sort of uh, nappy is that this is fully absorbent. So this is all made from bamboo. Um, I think it has a mix actually of bamboo and polyester. I'll just check the label for you. Yeah, it's got 20% polyester, 80% bamboo. Um, so these ones are really, really absorbent. Uh, nappies like these are great for nighttime because the whole nappy is absorbent so they catch lots and lots of wee. Um, these though are needing to go under a wrap so let me just find a wrap. Um, I've only got one wrap here so I'll just show you this one. So this is a Ricky wrap, this is Mothery's. So this wrap um, is the polyester, the P well part, the waterproof part. So this is what is going to contain the wee from getting on clothes and on uh, leaking on baby. So that is why you would put this nappy inside a wrap because if you don't put this nappy inside a wrap, then all of it is going to be wet with wee and it's going to go on baby's clothes. So that is why you want to put a wrap over these. You can add with these, again, you can add a booster. So if you find that baby is wetting a lot and they're saturating the nappy and it's leaking through, then you can add boosters to this. Now you can add the booster inside or outside of this nappy because it's all going to be covered by the wrap. So if you wanted to, you could put the nappy on and then in between the nappy and the wrap, you can add a booster because that's still going to soak through onto the booster. Or you can put the booster inside the nappy. Like so, like that. Um, and then you can also use a liner, which is good for nighttime nappies because babies, when they start sleeping through, they might have these on for 10, 12 hours. So obviously you want to think about protecting their delicate skin um, from the wet. So a liner in nighttime nappies is probably a good idea. Um, then bamboozles also come with their own insert, also just boosts the nappy that little bit. So um, it means that there's a little bit more absorbency to the nappy. Um, but yeah, so there's also little lamb uh, nappies. They come in all different materials. They come in bamboo, um, bamboo, cotton and microfiber. And I am gonna do a video on pricing of each nappy um, and also I'm gonna do a video on washing and drying so you know um, what materials are gonna take the longest to dry. So what nappies are gonna take the longest to dry. I will discuss that in another video. I haven't missed that off. So I thought I would just add that I'm going to do a couple more videos that I've just decided on. Kristen's here with me. Um, he's just woken up. Um, so I'm going to do a um, fitting of nappies video to show people how to fit nappies best to get no leaks. And also to show different nappies that fit that are best fits for like slim babies or for chunky babies or tall babies or you know short babies um so i thought we could do like shapes and sizes of babies to nappies um and also i wanted to do a video about newborn nappies so that includes like muslins pre-folds um newborn nappies the different sizes that you can get um and clothing like from birth um, and I thought I could also do, if people think it would be good to do a reusable wipes video, because I think even if you don't want to fully cloth, you could also use reusable wipes just as, you know, um, a one-off thing. So I think doing a video on that would be really helpful for some people. Um, but yeah, you okay? <laughs> He's thinking, what are you doing, mummy? Obviously, I know that reusable nappies can be very, very confusing. I was very overwhelmed and it was kind of off-putting at first because I thought, how am I ever going to get my head around this? 
um, and honestly it does take a bit of practice especially with your washing and your drying routines that took me a bit of practice to get it perfect but um, I do think that once you n have the knowledge and the understanding of the different types and things like that, the terminology and things, it is easy to master everything else. So, um, yeah, so I hope you have enjoyed this video. Let me know. Give me a like, subscribe, comment. Um, like I've said, feel free to follow my social media. That will be coming up after this um, and if you want to ask any questions to me personally feel free to message me on that I'm happy to answer any questions um, so thank you for watching um, and yeah have a great day thanks bye <laughs>